um, how to deal with these. Look, here you go. Can, can you see Ginny? Yeah. Yeah, you have that axis of the head, which is kind of turned this way. And then you have a line, a shoulder. Shoulder. Yeah, yeah move over. And then you can, if you sit there, you can see and I can see. And well, then okay. everybody's happy. <laughs> yeah. As happy as I ever get, anyway. <laughs> Just say that before you do that. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can see Mark from there. You can see from there. Okay. 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 Look. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I'm recording that because obviously it needed to. I'll, I'll send it to you. Actually, that's why it's recording. Yeah. So we have two lines. We have that axis here of the head. Which is this one? Then you have a V shape. Look, a V, a V shape like. Shape. So I always work with shapes, line, light, and dark. You have a V shape here, which is that one that I'm doing here. Actually, it's a bit lower that area. So it's it's an open. It's like a, a a wide V. Then you have another V shape here. Look, shadow. Look, this one here, two Vs, and the third one. Look, one, two, three, four. That's a transparent light uh, dark and all this area here is in, sh in shadow look all this right hand side i'm talking about all of that here all of that and then you have a uh, hand here oh monster then you have the <laughs> genius new so <laughs> Okay, and then you have the hand here, which is right under the, the, the chin. If the chin is there, which in my, in our case, will be here. If the chin is there, you drop a vertical line, and it goes right at the end. So vertical line, and you go right at the end. Hand here, and you got the hand, knee, uh, knuckles, and you see, I'm, what I'm actually doing, I'm separating the light areas, light, light, light light from the dark area it's basically as simple as that so start and don't concentrate on folds at this stage that's way too early to say okay look at this fold look at that transparency look at this now it's just this light dark 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 uh, shadow here which is that transparent shadow under the hand here dark dark and then shadow on this side dark on that side and then all of that <laughs> all of that dark here there there obviously it's very very abstract and it's very uh basic what i'm doing now then you have another dark coming this way which is basically look this one it's the background this area here and the wall itself which is right under or right off the face of the girl there that dark area now I can now come and do a, be a little bit more daring and do that. I'm thing. not sure I understand. Is there something else I can help with? <sighs> Siri, just stop it, Jack. <laughs> I don't know how that's. Hello, how can I help? <laughs> creepy. Yeah. This is creepy. I don't like we've Siri. Been, we've been watched. <laughs> yeah, well, it comes with the iPad. I don't. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, you can't do anything. You have to. Disable it. Can you? You can turn off Siri. Ah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Good morning, sir, or any of those. Good morning, Hannah. <laughs> Good morning. So that was creepy, yeah. Like I'm more like the Chinese secret police. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As if they yeah. care about us. <laughs> yeah, look. And then you have that transparent shadow, which is right, I'm talking about this one here. Very transparent. And then you have the eyes where you look the eye, the eye cavity or the eye itself nose upper lip lower lip and the chin now if i do the head as big as that then that means i need to come down with a little bit more neck because otherwise the neck will be too too small and then shoulder upper upper shoulder and then highlight here see i i brought already i'm i'm moving moving the because I'm doing the head quite big, and then bringing that shoulder a bit lighter there, 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 and then you have eyebrow, 
nose, upper lip, lower lip, chin, and the hair here. That now there's a fling of hair which comes in this way, and then this hair that you will see when I give the picture to you, it's actually the shadow of the hair which is above the face. So what you see here is actually the shadow of the hair. It's not the hair itself. It's not the hair moves around the face, but the shadow is on the face. And let's do the eyebrow a bit further out. You don't want her to look like Frida Carla. <laughs> so then neck, bring it down, bring the neck down a bit lower there. Yeah, that's the face. Well, pretty much the face. Then you have very transparent shadows. Or I can start and work with the darks a bit more here. Dark, dark, and then you have, and then you have those. That this this scarf. She's got a scarf, and she's. These are fingers. These are fingers of her left hand, and this is her palm on the opposite side. This is basically that side here. And you have a colored scarf here, which is that that one there. Oh, you'll see it when I send you the picture. Then, uh, and that is quite, it's quite light actually, it's not that dark. And then you have that dark here, which is again, it's a wall. Yeah, that's pretty much the, that's pretty much the sketch that I would, I would work on. And then be a little bit more precise with the, uh, the, the white robe and the white dress that she's got, which comes like that here. If I do a line, you will see what I'm actually saying. So this is basically her white dress she's wearing. Highlight it. And maybe the palm a bit wider down here. Then dark shadow here. And all that area darker than what I've done there. And keep that light area for the, the uh, reflected or the light on the white dress basically there. Hmm? Yeah, it's almost quite Picasso-ish. Yes, it, it's it's basically yeah, you you'll see the painting because obviously I don't want to. I can't really see it, yeah, I, I'll show you now. What I'm thinking now is to because I cannot put more darker shadows. What I'm going to do is to spray it now, leave it for a few seconds, let the spray sink in, and then come and do more darks because I think that's it's way too bright. And the chin there so and then make that palm the back of the palm a little bit bigger then two fingers here one two which are her as I said left hand there. and then before you before you spread you brighten them up because you know with the spray you cannot you cannot darken that do now with the spray I can I can handle all the, the the paper can handle a little bit more dark see there you are so I can come back to the face because most people will concentrate on the obviously on the looks of the girl but it's such a small such a small portrait so that will be difficult to make to make justice of it because it's it's a very very small portrait but I'll try upper lip, lower lip, chin, then you have that dark hair here coming and then I said the actual hair goes around the head and that is the reflected the reflected shadow, cast shadow of the hair on the head and neck, neck a bit down, down here, darker, darker and that is all the dark side of the face there you go dark, dark, and the two little fingers which are holding the scarf, 
and the knuckle dark see dark and you got some uh, this is a colored scarf as I said to you it's slightly darker than the rest although I've darkened a lot more and then you have folds all around here and if you've noticed I'm concentrating the darks right here in this area because the darks are the darkest where you, where it meets the light there you have the darkest dark and <clears throat> There. Now what I'm going to do with that is obviously now with a putty rubber you can bring back those transparent white areas there, 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 and then that light here, that light there, 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 shoulder, neck, there we are, and on that side, well I you you will see very little of the head here because it's all in the shadow but it's kind of a the head the the I mean the face somewhere here <clears throat> don't want to do too much because there's not much information this is very very dark but it's pretty much there neck don't want to go too dark on that side because as I said the darks will concentrate on on where the light is right here on this area here and some middle tones about the lightness of a white dress and the folds that I'm doing here. The folds here. here, here, here. Huh? Nice. You see? Yeah. It's, it's basically sort of very um, ethereal. It's not sort of ethereal, senses, yes. Yeah. It's not yeah. set it's not yeah. settled. Yeah. It's, no, it's, it's, it's not it's not it's not a Let's say detailed, detailed because it's such a well, it's a painting, so I've done yeah. it in black and white. Can you tell me the name of the artist? Garmash. G A R M for yeah. mother. A, a again. Yeah. S H. Yeah. Gar Garmash. Garmash. Oh, R. It's Ukrainian. Yes, Ukrainian yeah. and Russian. Yes, they're very, very impressive. They paint this art. Is he a Is he? Alive now, is he? Oh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, he, they, oh, yes, 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 yes. It's how, one of Howard's favorites, isn't it? Yes, yeah. well done. Yeah, that's that's yeah. the one. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. Well, Howard is on the Wednesday group, and yeah. Howard it's loves it. Yes. Howard loves it. Oh, yeah. Very colorful, very yeah. impressive. Yeah, oh, that's nice. Isn't it? Browns and... Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one we painted. Yeah, you, yeah if, if you zoom in, if you yeah. if you visit or Click on that, you will see that. Uh, that's oh, that's what I we're see. doing. Yeah. Inessa Garmash. Ine yes. Inessa. So they're quite sort of lovely ladies, if you know what I mean. Yeah, they, yes, they <laughs> paint. They paint lovely ladies. Yeah. Yes, that's that's absolutely true. But yeah, they it's like magic. They they dress their uh, faces. They're so. I mean, I see, yeah. it's kind of. Do they use models or? I'm sure they use models. I'm sure they use live models. 100%. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so within within those darks here, what I'm doing actually, I'm I'm working with the middle tones. Middle tones are not the brightest light. The middle tones are here. This one, this one. So not this dark, that one here, or that one there, even lighter. Middle tones, half tones, they are pretty much the same thing. And then the scarf here, which is colourful, you will see it on the picture, because obviously that's not a, it's black and white. And oh, I forgot her eerie earpiece here which is something see i've sprayed it yeah I've, okay now it's nothing i can do because i've sprayed it but it's the earpiece here the earring here it's, it's such a small detail but again on a drawing on a large scale on 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 such a small drawing you don't have to do that well i'm doing it small because it's easier for me to you know go around in in a less time because that actually is better it's more impressive when you do it in a3 size but to be honest 
for for exercise for a quick sketch you don't need to do anything else or bigger than that there face and then let's bring the this side is a bit darker i can highlight just about the eyebrow and the eye where the eye should be then you have the nose then you have that middle side of the nose and you have there and uh, the the nostril of that side and then end of the lip and there and the hair hair obviously hair it goes it's in the dark but I, I need to bring a little bit more of the skull a little bit further up because it's too narrow too small too too low and just the shape of this other side of the face just a little bit of dark line here for the, the chin and jaw and we're done pretty much that's it it's basically keep it darks and that's another exercise about darks because we don't actually do many darks here we do very light drawings especially when you do a human figure it's always light because you don't want to go too dark obviously on the shadows but this is also an exercise about <laughs> darken as much as you can just play around with it at the end of the day it's a sketch it doesn't have to be you know, uh, it's a sketch with uh, um, uh, practicing with darks how much darker you can go and all these beautiful middle tones you can achieve them as I said with uh, a little bit spray it first and you can add another layer of darks and don't forget that wall which is here and the wall which I'm now placing it obviously doesn't have to be on onto the white dress but another thing about the white dress well before I do anything is on the wall come around with that dark that dark on the face on the on your palm and come around and do that look you can see more about the dress if you do this do you remember that yeah. we've done that many times <coughs> and that brings up a lot more the white of the dress look it makes it pop. Yeah. Yes. There. And I can push it a little bit onto the white, just where the color dress is, and then I can play with that with a puppy look. And add some transparent or a little bit lighter parts of the of shadow uh, of the different folds that I've seen here. And half tones here on the dark and you can you can break that dark with those half tones that I'm doing here and fingers obviously she doesn't have that huge fingers that's a bit like a builder's fingers but yeah let's make it smaller more delicate like this you know. there, there, there. I mean these two and you have the main index knuckle there. Just a shadow of that, just a bit of a ghostly image of that beautiful painting. Okay, let's stop. And now again, let's go back, get some highlights here. Um, fix a little bit the face. Shoulder neck shoulder a bit softer nostril upper lip and the lower lip the white of the white of the eye the eyebrow and create some knuckle bone here although they're not that visible i think that will help to create the impression of hands moving and the fingers moving forward there so we know that there's a hand although on the picture itself a color picture you can see that there's a hand there. and a little bit more hair here and around more hair area always you have more contrast 
where you have the light coming or the light illuminating from that side and that's where you have most contrast so light is coming from that side and then you have the contrast always is there the darkest darks are here they're all around where the light is illuminating getting some highlights here on the darks getting the fingers a little bit more accurately and I think they are a little bit more delicate than that because they're quite chubby here on me it's a bit on the fingers here just softer Shortening the knuckle bone. There. And bring the hand. Turn the hand a little bit round this way. Some soft lines to create the impression of folds. Soft tonal values. Some darker tones here. Little tones there. And then out stop developing anything here because it's not doesn't make any difference and also there's no need to go any darker there or any more details there some middle tones here folds all around then you have the wall coming all there and getting the nose a little bit the nose looks a little bit too long so what I'm thinking is to shorten the nose. And then I upper eyelid. And middle tone here on the forehead. Forehead here. Middle tone here. And then darker tone and, and lips, upper lip, a little bit thick upper lip, and um, middle tone. Uh, distance a little bit more distance between the nose and the upper lip from the one that I've done it at the moment I think it's, it's a lot of detail to go on there which I I won't be able to it's a very small actually face on me portrait it's very hard to get more details than that and then you have the face Darker, darker darks are concentrated where the middle of the face is, so all around here. And shadow of the hair, cast shadow of the hair on the face. I'm talking about this line here, that right there, that line there. And here as well, some highlight on that. Then you have the earring, which I actually sprayed it, so it's very hard to get some highlights now. But still, some we can come back some more. And the darker tone of value here, dark on the neck, uh, a little bit 
dive for you. So the shoulder comes around there, drops that shoulder, that right hand side shoulder, right right shoulder. Sorry, it's higher than the left one. And possibly some more folds here, but they're in the dark, so not much difference if I just keep it there as it is. And uh, a little bit darker here, because otherwise it looks like a patch, like a light patch. There. And just keep a highlight on the face, on this side of the face, basically. There 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 yeah, so that breaks or makes it a lot more well create more roundness I know it's not as intense as that there <sighs> okay now I can And some darks here. Which is the highlight of the hair. There. <sighs> and middle tones here. And here, just a little bit on the face. Doesn't have to be as uh, rigid light or as strong light as it is that one that I've done now. <sighs> I can give it a darker tone all over it. Okay. And just keep the chin a little bit more in the light here. There. All right. Well, I'll see you then on the next one. All right. Oh, okay. See you on the next video then. Uh, just a little bit there. Cut it there. All right. What's the date? The date? Date, date at sixteen.